Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, introducing you to my Rage Nightmare Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Mission 16, and it's Dead City in Reverse. So this is a really weird level, this one. We're going to be going back into an area we've already traversed, much like a hell of a lot of the side missions on this game, if you've ever done them. And the enemies are going to be completely different in a different spot, and we're going to be going through the level and progressing it in the complete opposite as we did before. We will end up going the opposite way around through the level, hence the, the title. And instead of there being a lot of mutants here and a lot of, you know, big heavy guys, all it's going to be are the authority soldiers. There's going to be a couple snipers to mix it up, but those guys aside, this is very easy, very simple. Um, make sure you've got the same guns you had before that you dealt with them in the prison, whichever way you want to do it. I'm not going to say it's wrong because Rage is pretty flexible on how you can you know, approach every situation. You could be running around with a rocket launcher and causing absolute chaos. I don't know. Uh, me personally, I'll probably be using the authority rifle because that's just how I roll. And um, maybe the sniper rifle occasionally, but this is all really simple stuff. This is a, a two-part mission. And uh, I suppose it is kind of long just because you're traversing a rather large area, but on paper there is no reason to get stuck here or to have any trouble whatsoever. So if, you, if you're worried about going back into the, the, the Dead City because you, you didn't like it the last time, this time is much easier. So there you go, that should boost your confidence if anything. And once again we're back in the, the Caprino, this time it's on fire, adding a little bit of flavour there to the, the monotony that is driving around the damn wasteland. <laughs> And uh, here's a question for the people that are playing Rage, because one thing I notice from, from doing these guides and uh, from commentating over them is I don't know a lot about the games when I do the commentaries a lot of the times, so unless it's a series I've been following fervently and uh, I've managed to play a hell of a lot of the game before the guide goes up. I generally only know the chicken scratch knowledge of what I've learned through my playthroughs, and I usually get through games... Uh, quicker than maybe the average person because I'm one of those type of guys that I always look for side quests but I always inadvertently find the right way don't know what it is it's just a curse and it sucks so what I notice on a lot of videos are people are trying to correct things I've either said or things that I've hinted towards or just dropping bits of knowledge to to explain certain questions that I might have asked and I've got a question for Rage for those people that will undoubtedly will want to, to truth bomb this this channel and the question is where the hell does Dan Hagar go when he suddenly vanishes and I know there's a place that it says he's gone to which has got some crazy name like I don't know fucking weapons gate or something daft but the, I don't want to know where they say he's gone I just want to know if there's any real significance to where he's gone because I have absolutely no idea and uh, I was having a drink with a friend of mine the other day and we was discussing this very fact because my friend is um, he's, he's absolutely loving rage he's, he's into all the fiction and everything and he can remember where they said he'd gone and he said the name of the place and stuff and what he thinks is that it's going to be DLC they're going to release a DLC pack that you either go to the place where he went to and it's a completely different part of the wasteland with missions and everything or it could be some kind of standalone piece of content where you're in a fresh new place which is where Dan is and you might have to go rescue him or something along those lines so if anybody knows where he's gone and can shed any light on it aside from you know he went to XXX place uh, please feel free to, to drop some knowledge because uh, that's what it's all about you know getting answers getting questions all that good stuff and uh, a lot of people seem to forget that as well with, with the guides that I make, which is always funny to see because everybody seems to think that they have the right answer to everything. Uh, I can be that way, you can be that way, it's a universal trait of, you know, ego and everything. But it's so much more obvious on YouTube because everybody's got, you know, this is the way to do it, this is how you could have done it better, this is what you could have done but you didn't. And uh, what a lot of people seem to forget is... I make these guides as quickly as I can with the strategies that work the very first time I played. And it's so funny to get messages to this day about Deus Ex telling me that I could have gone in this vent and it would have skipped this section or I could have done this to this boss and it would have completely made it easy. And I just, there's a part of me that wants to, you know, be the snide dickhead who replies with the truth bomb. But at the same time, I try and keep an air of professionalism with my comments because I am trying to, to build a community, I'm trying to build a channel, and I don't want to offend people with, with my answers because it's, that's not going to help me, that's just going to hinder me. That's common sense, that's business 101. But sometimes, uh, I just feel like saying it, it's like, 
dude, I completely get your answer. It's it's an awesome strategy that you found. It's really great. But this is seven weeks after the game came out. There are 90 billion different guides, 90 billion different theories, 90 billion different st strategic things you can apply to this environment. And at the time, there was zero when I played. And everything I know is from what I learned. And there is no way I'm going to learn every subtle nuance of a game so deep as Deus Ex. Yet, they still point these things out, and it's fascinating. And I just wonder, what do they think they achieve by that? Is it just them, you know trying to prove that they're better than me or to trying to prove their knowledge of it or, or I'm not too sure what it is and I think we're all guilty of it it's just something we do but it's something that about the human psyche that really fascinates me this this urge to prove yourself or to prove your knowledge it's, it's crazy and uh, yeah it's humanity man humanity we're pretty fucked up animals and the sooner we we acknowledge that the the, the sooner we'll evolve but that blinking there means that door's going to open, so you can throw a grenade or any well-placed well explosive to, to kill them all as they enter. I do believe there's only two or three enemies that'll turn up. This is not going to be the most challenging area of the game. It's, uh, it's standard stuff, really. Really standard stuff. And uh, I think what I'm going to be doing with it, a little insight to my process of, of guide making and everything, at this moment in time, I'm not working. I'm kind of treating YouTube as a job, even though I don't get paid for it, because I like to have a healthy and an aggressive work ethic. I like to feel like I'm constantly working, I'm constantly pushing a pace that not a lot of people can follow. And I do believe when I'm on the ball and when I'm uploading, and aside from my internet restricting me, I put up more content more consistently than any other YouTuber I know. And um, there are probably other people out there that, that, that will top my numbers, but a lot of that is down to the fact that they have a fantastic internet connect. In in connect. In connect. I'm creating words every damn video. I should have my own fucking dictionary. Internet connection than I do. And I can't do anything about that. I just mean the work ethic on the videos I make and the consistency that I throw them up. And uh, I treat that as my job, and I enjoy it. It's a job I love. But... I don't have the, the money that comes with having a part-time job, which absolutely sucks, so buying the games can be very difficult. And what I'm going to be doing for this one, I do believe, is a lot of my friends bought Rage, so I can always borrow it off them to finish off the achievements. So instead, I'm going to probably use this to trade in and buy Battlefield 3, because if I'm completely honest, I'm not that bothered about Battlefield 3. Played the beta, didn't like it, wasn't impressed. Just didn't, you know, didn't light my candle, didn't do that thing that it's doing to all those people that love to stalk boards and tell their opinion and how their word is gospel. But I'm definitely going to make a guide for it, I'm definitely going to do a bunch of commentaries for it, because I know my friends are excited about it and they're going to play the shit out of it. So it's definitely going to get purchased, it's just not going to be, uh, you know, from the site that I used to get games earlier or anything like that. It's not going to be purchased from that, it's going to be in the store and the guide is going to be later than probably a hell of a lot of the other guides that will be popping up on, on YouTube. Arkham City, completely different story. Cannot wait, hopefully we'll get it early. I will be knocking that guide out as fast as I did the Deus Ex. It will literally be up in the space of a few days. I am going to sit and commentate the shit off that game. Regardless of how dull or how difficult it is to do, it's, get, it's going up as fast as possible because I cannot wait for it and hopefully it's going to, it's going to be really eagerly anticipated because the, this guide I was really looking forward to doing and then I played the game and it's easy so this is probably going to die in the water and the only real people that will watch it are the people that love to listen to me talk shit for 20 minutes and if you're one of those folks I love you to death because you're the people that keep these videos hitting over a hundred views I am now consistently hitting over a hundred views on every video I post which is quite nice every so often I'll drop to 70 or something no idea what that is I'll have to start looking into it into more detail but it is cool to, to get that milestone behind me I just need to move into the thousands now, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, this section here, bunch of snipers. And they can shoot you through spaces that you can't even see through, so this can be kind of annoying, because this shanty town is perfect for them and a pain in the ass for you. So the best thing to do, I've found, is to just completely cheese them from a distance, using all the angles that you can, and uh, as soon as you get that first shot on, don't worry about it being a headshot. Just hit them, it will make them flinch, and then you can finish them off with another shot. They take two to three bullets, depending on where you shoot, but very simple, very easy. However, if you take that on the wrong way, you will get your shit pushed in. You will get a shit suppository before you even know where you are. 
but um, move forward and this next section what we're going to be moving out into was the area where we got rushed by a bunch of mute a bu a bu I've done it again what is wrong with the human language in my brain today it's just hazy god damn it not even been drinking oh, sound like blooming Sam Fisher <laughs> but this is a dropship so just do what you do with the dropships shoot the guys as they land completely cheese them I don't know why it thought that was a good idea but I love it to bits because it makes those fights really easy there's now one guy over there in the distance on a turret. If you kill him as quick as you can, you'll have no trouble from him, and you've just cleared out another section. So as I mentioned, pretty damn easy this compared to the last time we came here. Uh, I definitely think that anyhow. But, topics to speak about, and I've been going through topics faster than Mastermind in this commentary. Pretty crazy. Now, I've got a film that I'm going to be watching tonight that I'm really excited about because uh, it's got a really good cast, and it's getting really good reviews, and that is... Um, Captain America so cannot wait to see it man uh, I love the guy that's in it I love that Hugo Weaving is the bad guy and I've not seen him since like V for Vendetta or The Matrix or Lord of the Rings or something and I absolutely adore him as an actor I don't know why he doesn't do more things uh, in fact the last thing I saw him in was The Wolfman and I really did not like that film but the guy's fantastic he's got a sexy voice he's, he's, a, he's just a gem to watch he completely steals whatever is in because He's just iconic. Ever since he did Agent Smith, the guy's been a legend to me, and I really enjoy his work. And I know he does a lot of stuff on like the Australian, you know, indie movie scene and stuff like that. And he does a lot of different roles because he doesn't want to get typecast. But I, I would easily love to see him as like a badass, you know, cop or some some dude with an excuse to pull random weapons and shoot people at extensive rates. That to me would be fantastic, as long as it's got a good script and it's you know well directed and not edited like a schizophrenic like Columbiana. God, the editing on that film is just... It's offensive. Really offensive. But yeah, I would love to see him do like a badass action movie. Just as long as Michael Bay doesn't get his dirty hands on it and make it three hours long and make me snore. Fucking asshole. But this is all simple. You're just taking out the power cells, opening doors, picking up loot, killing soldiers. It really is, you know, simple stuff. There's not a lot to say. There truly isn't. But we are coming towards the end of the first section of it. Uh, the second section is, I do believe, a little bit shorter. So if you're getting bored of this area, don't worry. You will come out of it uh, very very soon because a lot of this area is very desaturated. Uh, this is jetpack, guys. If you can hit them before they land, it's like they were never even there. <laughs> it's a, I mean, look at that. Goodness, that's that pretty much sums up Rage in one second. It really does. That is this game. It truly is. But... Thanks for watching guys as always, I hope the guide is helping and you take care now.